Hey everyone, hope all is well. Today I am going to talk about the ISB Young Leaders Program. The reason that uh, this program is so close to me is because I went through uh, this program to get an admit from the Indian School of Business ISB. So in the first half of the video, I'll talk about who all are eligible to apply for the Young Leaders Program, and in the second half, I'll talk more about this year's essay and the application deadline. So. For those of us who don't know about the ISB YLP, it's a deferred admit program to get an MBA, to get a seat in the prestigious Indian School of Business to complete their MBA program. Now, who all are eligible to apply for ISB YLP? You should be a college student right now in your pre-final or final year. So, if you're, let's say you're pursuing a commerce degree or a management degree, you should be in your second or third year currently to apply for the YLP. or if let's say you are pursuing a science degree if you are an engineer then you should be in your third or the fourth year when you are applying for the YLP now typically the deadlines are in october it's october 22nd this year 2023 or the deadlines are in march which would be typically fourth week of march if you are applying in 2024 and once you get a shortlist after you write an essay then you have to submit your gmat score or gre score you write your another essay and then you submit that by 31st august 2024 and then you are called for an interview and then you get an admit so the ylp like i was trying to say was uh, is essentially broken into three stages the first stage deadline is 22nd october this year once you are through that once you clear that then you will have to write your gmat you don't have to write your gmat or gre right now for the first stage you only need to submit one essay and essentially important details on your profile like your awards achievements clubs that you've been a part of in college and other extracurricular activities alongside your academic transcripts and cgpa once you get a shortlist in december then you can start preparing for gmat or gre and submit that score by august next year so that's about who all can apply up uh, now when it comes to what is different about the isb ylp applications this year is that uh, the essay topic has been changed so the essay topic uh, earlier was more about your passion which is what are you passionate about and uh, you have to talk about that in terms of how you are pursuing it how will you continue to pursue it in the foreseeable future now it's about the most challenging situation that you faced in life till now and how has it changed you as a person now whenever a b school talks about a challenging situation they're trying to gauge you as an individual they're trying to make sense of you color you as a person by visually uh, synthesizing what you write in the essay now i tell to my mentees who ever enrolls with us for the isb ylp mentorship that try to think of something which is very tangible in nature right i mean it's okay if you talk about an internship where you had a conflict with your manager or a client or a subordinate or a colleague it's okay to talk about a club crisis you you couldn't really let, let's say raise sponsorship for a club that you were a part of be it an actors be it finance society be it economic society see all of these are things which happens with everybody right so there is nothing unique about this so if i was the applicant and if i was trying to write the application this year and submit my essay for stage 1 then i would look inwards and try to think of something which is very personal to me and very tangible also when i say personal it can be a financial difficulty at home it can be a familial responsibility that you had to tend to it can be something medical which happened in the family parents or siblings or it can be let's say you had to take a gap year after class 10th or class 12th because of some unforeseen reasons or you had to explore a different career path for which you wanted to take some time out or it can be the fact that you were pursuing upsc alongside college or ca and how that struggle that additional educational responsibility changed you as a person right so i always advise my mentees to keep it very very unique and keep it very very personal and raw and authentic because everybody can talk about internships and certifications and uh clubs and you have to talk about them in terms of other areas that you have to fill up beyond the essay 
you are given sufficient space to talk about internship details uh you have to talk about your clubs positions certifications all of that so if we have sufficient space for all these things why do we have to waste our precious word count in the essay and talk about the same things right so uh my recommendation to anybody who's a college student right now and is looking to explore isb as a career option and as a b school then you should definitely definitely consider ylp feel free to get in touch with us i am copying a uh, a link of a google form through which you can fill up your profile details i'll reach out to you happy to evaluate your profile and let you know how you can augment your profile how you can write the essay to get a shortlist through the ylp but just keep one thing in mind that isb looks for people who are really unique and unique doesn't mean that you have to portray achievements in each and everything if anything singular has happened in your life till now be it from class 10th class 8th childhood something at home something beyond that anything be it health wise personal try to bring that up try to bring something up which other areas of the application can't emphasize right and if still you feel that i can't find something uh then it's okay to talk about an internship crisis or a club crisis but i am a strong advocate of unique circumstances in life which have uh which have shaped you till now uh so happy to reach out and happy to help you if you need our help in terms of formulating your isb stage 1 essay as i told you the deadline is 22nd october you have sufficient time to write your essay and submit the application don't prepare for gmat or gre right now you can do that once you get the shortlist after stage 1 so stage 1 22nd october shortlisting by december then stage 2 deadline by 31st august 2024 that is when you have to submit your gmat another essay and a letter of recommendation and the interviews will happen in september october 2024 so it's a good one year long process that you have to undertake and once you get an admit uh, through the ylp just keep that in mind that you have to complete at least 20 months of work ex before you join the school right so the school has a minimum threshold of work ex which everyone who's entering the class is supposed to have which is 20 months for ylps so let's say sarthak is applying for a, a ylp admit this year he's in his pre final year studying in delhi university he'll apply he'll get through now let's say he gets the admit in november 2024 and he started working in july 2024 now he has to work for at least 20 months which is broadly till april 2026 and then he'll enter the class at isb which is starting in april 2026 he'll graduate in may 2027 so that's how the ylp functions which is you must be in your pre final or final year of undergrad college while you're applying and once you get the admit you have to showcase at least 20 months of full time work experience to be eligible for entering the class uh, the mba program at isb eventually i hope this video helped and feel free to reach out for any queries thank you